This is the CR10S4, one of the CR10 variants and one of the more wildly popular 3D printers currently because of its ability to print really well and because it doesn't cost a lot of money. I'm going to show you one of the ways that you can upgrade it with a micro Swiss all metal hot end. This will not only let you print with materials that require higher temperatures, it'll also provide you with a nozzle to help alleviate the stress of printing with abrasive filaments. I'm Joel and this is 3D Printing Nerd. So now as responsible tool owners, it's time for us to put everything away. The fine folks at Micro Swiss actually sent this all metal hot end upgrade kit for the CR10 family because they wanted me to show you how easy it is to install. In fact, you only need really four different tools. You need a seven millimeter socket, you need a six millimeter socket, you need a two millimeter hex wrench and you need a 1.5 millimeter hex wrench. In fact, with those four tools, you're pretty much set and good to go. In fact, why don't you grab your tools, go get your all metal hot end upgrade kit and follow along because I'm about to show you how it goes. Whoosh. As with any install first, you need to open the box. Once I use my knife to break the seal, I find that inside is the thermal tubeless cooling block the hot end sock, the heater block, the titanium alloy heat brake, grub screws, and the plated wear resistant nozzle. The first step in installing this is preheating the nozzle to around 235C, give or take. Once everything is preheated, go ahead and use that six millimeter socket to remove the nozzle from the heater block. After the nozzle is removed from the menu, go ahead and select cool down. Once everything cools down, feel free to take the nozzle out of your socket. You're not gonna need it again, but you might as well look at it because hey, it's yours and it's cool. Before continuing, don't forget to turn off the machine and to unplug power because safety first. At this point, you're going to want to remove the Bowden tube. Unfortunately, my machine had a problem and I was unable to push down to relieve the pressure and pull the Bowden tube. So what I did is grabbed some flush cutters and made a cut in the Bowden tube. Not to worry because there is still plenty of Bowden tube left the machine shouldn't have a problem at all. Go ahead and grab that two millimeter hex wrench and remove the two screws holding the fan and fan shroud on. With the fan and fan shroud off, the cooling block is exposed. There's two screws holding that cooling block in place. Go ahead and use your two millimeter hex wrench and remove those. This kit comes with a sock to fit over the heater block when done, so you don't need this insulation. Go ahead and remove that. At this point, what you're going to want to do is remove the heater block from the cooling block. In order to unscrew the cooling block, you will first need to use your two millimeter hex wrench and unscrew the two screws holding the heater block to the cooling block. Once those are out, set those aside and unscrew the cooling block. This kit allows you to reuse the current heater block. So go ahead and grab the titanium alloy heat brake and screw that into the heater block. Don't worry, finger tight is just fine. Find the plated nozzle at this point and screw that into the heater block. If it doesn't go in using finger tightness, you can grab your seven millimeter socket to help. Don't put too much pressure on it at this point. We will fully tighten it towards the end. Find the new cooling block from the kit and using the two screws from before and your two millimeter hex wrench, install that. Now using that 1.5 millimeter hex wrench, put the grub screw in, but remember not too far. At this point, you're going to slide that heat break into position into the cooling block. Once it's in, use the two screws that were holding the heater block in place before and screw those into place. Finally, once those are screwed in and tight, tighten the grub screw using your 1.5 millimeter hex wrench. 
At this point, you're going to want to install the fan and fan shroud back into place. Find the two screws that holds it in place. Find your two millimeter hex wrench and tighten everything up. With the fan shroud on, go ahead and insert the PTFE Bowden tube into place. Remember, this is an all metal hot end, so the PTFE Bowden tube doesn't need to slide that far down. Put it in until it stops and then you're done. At this point, we're almost done. Go ahead and plug in that printer, turn it on, and preheat. Once up to temperature, you're going to want to use your seven millimeter socket to tighten the nozzle one last time. At this point, we need to cool things down again, so from the menu, choose cool down. Once everything is cool, go ahead and remove the heater block screws using your two millimeter hex wrench and install the silicone sock over the heater block. Congratulations, you've done it. Now that you're done, you should test your work. Go ahead and preheat the printer to the temperature of the filament you want to test with. Feed the filament through and verify it's extruding out the nozzle. Once you see filament coming out the nozzle, give yourself a pat on the back because you're done and ready to print all the things. Oh, all right, well, that's it. We've shown that it's installed correctly and we've tested it to make sure filament comes out. So now as responsible tool owners, it's time for us to put everything away. I hope that was a valuable little tutorial on how to install the Micro Swiss hot end all metal upgrade for CR10 family of printers. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Again, a big thanks to Micro Swiss for sending this over. I think that their product line is of good quality. I've used it for many years and I don't think you'd be disappointed if you were to acquire this as well. You can find a link to it down in the description. Beyond that, let's call it good. A big thanks to everybody that subscribes and don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of when cool new stuff is uploaded to the channel. And a really big thanks to everybody that supports the channel via Patreon, via YouTube Red, and if you just let the ads play. Well, and finally, don't forget to hug each other more because, well, I love you guys. As always, all metal hot ends are cool. And high five.